breach. Ooh. Very interesting. Sneaky, too. They probably won't be able to get there in time to see what it is. Oh, I think he shot the guy you're trying to go for. if you guys fully remember and appreciate me and the objects 268's relationships <laughs> is that I think too many plurals right there but we'll uh, we'll carry on uh, more precisely in 2017 kind of when this vehicle came out I called it utter garbage like utter garbage means worse of the worst like uh, unplayable can't do anything right. Now, sure, it's difficult compared to other 7.3, 8.3, even 6.3 vehicles, but it's still okay. And I, I don't know why I use utter garbage. Let's start off with the maximum speed, 750 horsepower. We're going to be mobile, not the fastest, but not the slowest. Armor, heat fin stabilized, won't care about this at all, but <laughs> dude, that is... That is a really strong case, but it doesn't matter. We will not rely on our armor at all. Now, if we verse a vehicle that I know that doesn't have heat fin stabilized, they're going to have a hard time, and probably the only way of them get, you know, affecting me is a cannon barrel shot or somehow getting through here, which I highly doubt it, but in my luck, they probably will. And then we got the gun, 152 millimeter M64 cannon that... Doesn't have that much penetration for its AP, you know, 220, we can expect 200 uh, millimeters of pen at long range or medium range, but just check that out. TNT equivalent in here is 1.02 kilograms for an AP HEBC shell. That, uh, that's, that's one shot everything if it has a little bit of armor, but I don't, I'm torn. Because I, I want some extra penetration sometimes. I'm going to take three of these shells and see which one works best for me. Um, the heat charge, 5.91 kilograms. I feel like this thing will obliterate as well. I, I, I can't see how 5.91 kilograms is focused into that jet. It has to go left and right and stuff, right? It can't all just be in that one line of the heat charge. And then we have the HE, 5.9 HE. And then to top it off, literally, ha, 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 we have a 14.5 millimeter machine gun. So uh, anything that really kind of wants to get near us, lightly armored, we're going to be protected from. And compared uh, from... Last time we played this to now, there's a lot more armored vehicles, so this thing's going to really come into handy. So without further ado, we're going to give the Object 268 another go-around, and I, I, I just can't see how now it's utter garbage. Okay, so here we go. Whoa! Okay, yep, that's something that I don't really want to see. ATGM's already out. So as you can see, good, decent mobility. I would think that that would have penned a something. Did we take the wrong belt? Okay, that seemed to have worked. Now, our reload is 17.1 seconds with this crew, which is definitely not good, but it's at a decent enough rate that... By the time 
we're ready to engage the next enemy is kind of the average time that you would see an enemy. It's not great, but it works. I'm going to see if I can get Buddy Buddy up against uh, the right side of Alpha. Because if we can control this area, we pretty much can control A. Like right here is really, really good. We might have to do some landscaping, but... I would rather not do landscaping with the 17 point... Uh-oh. Enemy something right here. You can see the MG. We'll take a little bit more of an aggressive approach here. Oh, something. Ugh. I couldn't have pinned that. We got a 30 there. We got two. This might be able to go through. Yes, well done. Whoa, okay. That was an interesting sound effect. Tiger should be right over here. Oh. Did you really pop smoke? Or is there another guy? Definitely hear somebody else. We're going to try to... This is interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, no one... Just don't don't worry about what just happened right there. Yo, that was, that was kind of sneaky right there. No, 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 no. That's how you ruin things. Get out of here, Rock. Now, we could get killed from the rear, but let's just tell our... Oh, hang on. I mean, versing Tigers is wonderful with this. I gotta tell my buddy that there's someone... I don't even know where I even put that. Okay, Smoke, go away. I think we're gonna get flanked. I hear another one to my left, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh. Okay, we got another one to the right. Now, we don't have much depression. We're at a really good angle. He can't penetrate us. I don't think he sees me fully, which is strange. Oh, my lord. Okay, there goes a wavern. Yeah, you can see at 6.7, this is a really nice vehicle. One of the best tech destroyers in the game. Oh, my. Germans are getting... I mean, I think this is, like, best case scenario. I mean, shoot, there were ATGMs early game. I wonder if I'll get spotted by doing this. Now, one kilogram should be able to go... Okay, hang on. We got to kill. Here we go. I was going to have to go through lower plate. Oh, we got an ace. See, I knew this thing was an utter garbage. Type 60. No, Coelian, don't spot me. Okay, good, he didn't. There's a Type 60 over here. Come on, transmission. Have you guys seen how Leopard 2A4 traverses in this game sometimes? Have you seen one traverse in real life? 
pretty big difference. Okay, 14.5 millimeter. That was so anticlimactic. There we go. Oh no! Okay, I guess I deserve that. Okay, we got really lucky last game. Not only because of the BR, but a lot of the enemies that were shooting us didn't shoot us in the weak spot, which is the flat portion near the mantlet and then the driver hatch as well. Sorry, brother. I'm big boy. Potential enemy. He could be a speedy boy. <laughs> I don't know if that was the only guy. Uh, but one thing is that the 14.5 millimeter was kind of a letdown last game. So hopefully it it's a little bit stronger this one. That stinks. Honestly, I was just taking the chance that no one would sky at 7.7, .7, but what do you know? Why don't you shoot him? Why you shoot me? He only took out one crew? Oh my gosh, how did I not die there? <laughs> Thanks, War Thunder. <laughs> now I wanted to go to the other side because that's a better look, looking at A. Oh, now my 14.5 mil millimeters gone. Shame, I was really excited to use it today. Okay, we got multiple, I think. Okay, reload. We're looking at this about the same reload as well. We've got an issue or two here. We're going to need to defend this way. Because I think there's one or two pushing. Definitely one's pushing. My back cover's dead. This is a dead man's spot, ladies and gentlemen. There's two. Fourteen point five millimeter is not working. We got a type. 75 MLRS. Good gosh, someone help me. Someone's. Someone's pushing me. how much of a repair it is 28 seconds okay bye have a great time okay maybe some payback here there we go and as as and as annoying as that play is or what he did to my barrel that's that's the 100 percent the right thing to do in that situation. All right, guys, we're going to push in. We're going to I'll I'll repair this AMX30, but I guarantee you he's going to he's going to push out and just get clobbered. Okay, that's a shot. That's a Tiger 205. Here he is. Oh, lucky me. Tiger 2, get spotted. Press G. I wish you could set claymores up in War Thunder. That should be a new modification unlock. 
Now, on, on the kill feed a couple minutes ago, I, I saw Type 75 thing again. He, he was back up in action. Holy crap, we actually have a T95? Okay. I really hate caps locks. Oh, can I can I can I talk to my team? I gotta get in cover. He can easily pen me. Be careful, dude. There's somebody right here. No, 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 this is not good. I'm going to set my teammate up to die. Ah, I'm such, I'm so... Oh, I hate you. Yo, that's cool. I feel so bad, dude. Well, when life gives you lemons. <laughs> crafty here. Oh. Well, I don't feel so good right now. Not only did I get my teammate killed, I got myself killed because I got my teammate killed, and if I'd never even talked to my teammate, I'm sure he still would have been alive, but probably not because the game would have been over by now, but I think that he would have looked for that tiger that I, that I, that I missed. <laughs> the round didn't even didn't even do anything. There you go, BMP. Show him who's boss. Show him who's boss. Go, man. Like, I I did everything I could possibly have done to get myself and my teammate killed right there. And I'm so sorry if you're watching the video or anything. I didn't mean to. Just just don't use teammate just don't use teamwork in War Thunder. BMP one's dead. Austin's caster A. Okay, machine gun forward. I don't see him. I don't. Is that him? No. Nope. He should be over here to the right then. Okay. We got we got a conqueror over here. We're gonna pop butt smoke. I'm looking for an M56. That's a bad shot, but thank you, teammate. M56 is dead by the Type 62. Well done. Now, I really wonder why I had so much trouble with this thing back back in the day. I mean, it's it's a... Pr well, m maybe the, the compression has been... Um, well, it's been decompressed a little bit. But, like, maybe only by 0.3. Whoa. Okay, we have silent dart technology here. But it's it's a great brawler. Truly is. Mm. Oh, lucky me. Actually, I feel like I could have penned that guy's upper plate, right? I just shoot for weak spots that I know will always pen with any round. What's that? Nothing? Okay. Whoa, whoa. Yes. Good. And, and the, the reason why I'm not pushing out is just because on American Desert, you don't really want to push out just because the spawn detection is massive. Like, I can... I can push right here. Like, yeah, where these guys are, right here, you'll, you could potentially get detected. TU2. We've got three kills, not bad. Oh, man, okay. We've, we've kind of clobbered this team. Maybe we do push out now? I really didn't get to use my 14.5 too much today. Whoa.
Oh man, that was a uh, that was a strange situation there. I don't know where he hit me, but there's no reason that the T34 shouldn't have been able to pen me. Maybe I don't I don't know. Maybe he just shot too low or something. But from playing this vehicle again, it's not utter utter trash. I don't know what I was on. I don't know why I couldn't make it work. But this is a this is a really nice brute tank at 7.3. And yes, you will get penned. And yes, they will shoot your cannon barrel because it's completely massive and easy to hit. And I also have to say that muzzle brakes are like a disadvantage in War Thunder. Even when they give you no advantage at all, it just, you know, it just looks cool and stuff. Because it's, uh, it's extremely easy to take out the cannon barrel if you just nick the muzzle breach. Ooh. Very interesting. Sneaky, too. Now, we probably won't be able to get there in time to see what it is. Oh, I think he shot the guy who's trying to go for him. Okay, he's to the left. Hang on, pal. I think it's a light target. No, it's not. <laughs> the combination of the mobility and the huge gun is... It's always a fun combo. Sorry. Oh, no. Oh, good. I saved the panther. Hi, guys. This is Post Commentary Fly here. Uh, I forgot to do an outro and say bye to you guys. And uh, sometimes when I don't say bye to you, a, a lot of people get mad. So uh, I just want to thank you guys for spending your time and uh, watching the vid today and hanging out and uh, supporting the channel. Uh, expect tomorrow's vid uh, will be a utter stomping with the M4A1 FL10. Um, a lot of you guys listen to me, and I hope you guys are having fun with it. But for those who still don't know what this thing can do, uh, tomorrow we're going to solidify it. I'm going to see if I can get like 20 kills with it in one game. I I don't think I've ever gotten 20 kills in one game, but we're going to we're gonna try for that. Then, guys, hope you've enjoyed. Have a good day. See you tomorrow. Peace out.